So if the family in this movie thought hide and seek was the dangerous game, they should try playing Monopoly. What's up guys welcome back to another review for ready or not being released on august 21st this wednesday tell me in the comments below if this is a movie that is for you i think it was a movie that i wasn't expecting to like as much as i did so please if you did see it tell me your thoughts as well and don't forget consider clicking on the subscribe button and the bell in order to hear any more content from me for your future enjoyment ready or not is a black comedy thriller directed by matt bethnelli open and tyler gillett it stars samara weaver as a newlywed woman who becomes hunted by her in-laws mark o'brien co stars as the husband as well as adam brody henry Cherney, and annie mcdowell as his family as i already said this is a movie that took me by surprise in so many ways and i kind of thought of it as a different type of movie when i first saw the preview all we had from it was this woman getting married into this rich family she pulls out a car to play a game and they're all after her they're all going to murder her and i kind of kept comparing this movie to another film coming out in november called knives out which is kind of a whodunit type of scenario and i thought that this was that kind of movie as well I was completely wrong. So as I watched this movie, I noticed similarities to other films that may have been influenced into making this movie. And even though some of it was kind of original, you can tell that they were borrowing other ideas, but they do it in such an interesting way that it becomes very fresh and very new and just something that you're entertained by. The movie's about an hour and a half long, and I was really intrigued the entire time. And it's considered a horror thriller, but it's also kind of a black comedy. It's taking a serious situation here of this family murdering this one woman. Woman, but they put a spin on it with all these crazy like characters and just blending in that amount of comedy in it just to have that perfect mix of horror and amusement. I do want to mention the cast and primarily Samara Weaver which was amazing but really what I want to talk about in this video are the other influences from other movies that made Ready or Not what it is. I just love the cast for this movie. It was just great seeing these different personalities bounce off of each person. And it reminded me so much of another movie that came out years ago. Everyone knows about it. If you don't know it, you know the board game called Clue. And with Clue, you still had the same kind of scenario. They were in a mansion. They're finding out who murdered this one particular person, whereas in Ready or Not, they are trying to kill somebody. But what I'm getting the connection here is that both movies had these cast of characters that were really kind of eccentric they were kind of weird kind of crazy in their own way but just seeing these different people interact with each other that's what made the movie work whether it was adam brody who played the kind of suspicious brother you had henry cherney who played the leader of the family and he was crazy as well annie mcdowell who plays a manipulative type of mother or aunt helen i can't remember her name this actress but oh my god look at her she's creepy but who stole the show in the end? Samara Weaver as Grace. This woman, I never heard of her, but she had such a presence that really stuck with you this entire movie, and I wouldn't be surprised if we hear her name a lot more often in the future. She, in a way, other than the other members of the family, brought in a lot of the comedy into this movie, and this movie just hits its points right when it comes to comedy and horror, and that's the whole idea of a black comedy, but you gotta hit those points perfectly. And they do it right, and she does it well, and she does horror well she does drama well she does comedy well like this woman can do a lot and she's kind of an action hero in this movie as well and the whole time she's playing action hero she's wearing a wedding dress which is hilarious and awesome at the same time but as i said before she is really the one that steals the show in the end but this next thing is what i really want to talk about and that is how this movie is influenced off of other forms of entertainment now going back to the wedding dress for example you may see in other horror movies that the bride can be kind of horrifying and i can think of the best example here and that's in the bride of frankenstein and if you even think about it outside of movies look at the haunted mansion at walt disney world where you have an image of a bride it still gives off this very horrifying presence to it the movie also plays off in a very gothic victorian style kind of way you look at recent movies, for example, like Crimson Peak, that really has a close resemblance to this movie in regards to the interior of the house and how the lighting is displayed, as well as the outside of the mansions, too. If you go back now, as far as 80 years ago, to another movie that I recommend to anyone that loves watching old films, it also has a gothic presence to it, is Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca from 1940, and also has a kind of the same concept that Ready or Not has, in a way. You have a woman 
who had just married a wealthy man who lost a wife from a previous marriage. She died. And as she comes home to her new house in this big mansion, she has a head made there that kind of makes her go crazy and kind of influences her to kill herself. But once again, this is a movie that has that haunted house type of feel. All three of these movies kind of possess that same kind of presence. Now lastly, this part may be a little bit spoilery, so skip it if you don't want to listen to this part. It just has to do with the last act of the movie, but I feel with some parts containing aspects of rituals and cults, there are so many influences off of other movies, and one right off the bat that I noticed was 1968, Rosemary's Baby, and even Midsummer that came out a few months ago. These movies, they feature just a group of people that are in a cult, and they're carrying out a pre-planned mission while they're preying on that one individual. And that's what I noticed with this movie. But if you want laughs, you got it. If you want violence, it's there too. If you want just a fun time, it's there. It's really a surprise hit for the month of August. Usually this is the end of the summer and not a lot of good movies come out around this time. This movie did surprise me in many ways. So I really do have to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It just is an enjoyable movie. And even though the story isn't completely original, there are a little bits of originality and they take ideas off of other other movies and entertainment that really blends it all together. But thank you guys so much for listening in on my thoughts on Ready or Not. Hope you check it out this coming weekend. But once again, thank you very much. Leave your comments below on what you think about this movie. You all are awesome. I'll see you later.